Amazing. Hello, Michelle. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I love it. So uh, we were just chatting briefly and like we were talking, like honestly, it you are like night and day to when you first started this work. Gosh, what, it's been like five months now. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What has, tell, tell everybody um, what inspired you to start this work in the first place? Like, what was your life like? Um, so I had kind of already started pieces of it. Yep. So like I was reading the self-development books. I was, um, I had a really good morning routine down. Like I was getting up, I was working out. I was focused on like, just being a mom of two, I was like, okay, this is my time. It's finally time to like focus on me, get myself under control so that I can better be there for them. Right. So I kind of already started doing some of this stuff. And then, um, Chelsea and I are actually like, we've known each other since we were babies. And so I've always followed along on her journey and just, yeah, she shared awaken abundance with me. And so I dove into that and we chatted and I was like, I just got to do it. Right. So, yeah, I love it. I love it. And, um, what was, what was your life like prior to even starting personal development work? Um, so it was one of those, like, I should be grateful for what I have. My husband and I both have great jobs. Um, I was in the government sector or I'm just ending that. So, um, to everyone else, we look like we have it all together when it comes to like our jobs, right? Have two kids, all that kind of stuff. But I kind of always knew there was like this feeling of more. And I had already started the transition knowing I wanted out of like the corporate nine to five um, before I started this work. This work has just like excelled me to figure out what I actually want to do. Cause I was kind of just grasping at straws, like searching the internet, be like, oh, I could do this. Like, my background is transcribing data entry. So I'm like, oh, I can just pick up something like that, like easy peasy, only need to make X number of dollars, blah, 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 right? So um, things were good, but I knew things could be better. Yeah. 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 So when, what would you say over the course of the last five months, like you said that doing this work has really just helped you identify like and get clarity on what your purpose is and what your vision for your life is and um like what would you say your biggest shift has had to be in order for you to take action on it um definitely like having belief in myself right people can support you all day long which is fantastic that's part of this community it's one of my favorite things but if you don't believe in yourself and if you don't like, so self-worth and self-image were always something that I've struggled with since I was a teenager. And so for me, I'm like, if I can get a grasp and like believe in myself and love myself, then it just, it all starts shifting really. Why can't and you it's do? so easy yeah. and simple, but yet we make it seem like it's so hard. That's but, right. And yeah. so you, you've been, how old are your kiddos? three and seven, three and seven. And what have you noticed, um, with them as you've been doing this work? Um, I have a lot more patience with them and, uh, I find I'm able to like explain, especially my seven-year-old, she's starting to go through like the friends and all that kind of stuff. So for her, it's, um, words that you've said many times that you say to your girls is you can't give them your power. Because I'm like, that used to be me. So I'm like, if I start her at seven, believing that she has all the power for herself, then as she moves through life, right? So my th three-year-old, we're like kind of working on it. He's, he oh, doesn't yeah. really get it, but that's he's okay. just steeping when, in the tea and he's that's, around. <laughs> that's exactly it. I know, like I started um, like, coaching like doing this work when my girls were like one and three and then by the time they were two and four I was like coaching on it um but I it honestly now that they're nine and eleven it's like they've been they've been raised in this way where we work with the universe we don't work against it 
they are fully versed on um, how everything works, how to turn their thoughts into things. And now they're even getting to the point where they go, mom, I want this. And I said, well, what do you got to do? Like, I, that's, what do you got to do to get it? And they're like, well, okay. Like, and then they pull out their tools and then they start doing it. Yeah. And it's like, it, they, kid, this is the thing with kids is they aren't far removed from this truth. Like this knowingness yeah. that the universe has my back, right? They aren't far from it. So it's not hard for them to, and either way, like as parents, our kids don't always do what we say, but they always do what we do because we're modeling yeah. things for them constantly, right? So when they see me every morning, when they wake up, I'm studying this work and I'm reading and Dave and I are reading together. Like even me doing this work, like for the first six years of me doing this work, Dave was not doing it with me. But now it's like, then he was steeping in the tea, right? And then he got yeah. involved and now we're like studying together. And even this morning, both kids woke up and Dave and I were, were doing our readings and stuff and, and um, we're having conversations about it. And like, we don't hold back just because the kids are sitting there, right? So they're just like, you know, half awake sitting on our laps, but we're like talking yeah. and having these conversations. And it's like, either way, we're exposing our kids to something. So yeah why not expose them to something that's going to help them live their best life, right? Oh, exactly. I love that. I love it. So you've been super engaged too in the 2% club. Yes. What's that experience been like for you? Uh, everything. Because it's one of those, like, if people don't understand, right, you have a coach, like Chelsea brought me into this world, but I feel equally supported by everyone, by you, by like, and the dynamics are amazing. And you say something, but then Chelsea says it differently. But then Jacint says something. And I was like, oh, now I get it. But like yeah. the first two times I didn't. Right. So it's just interesting how, and you guys are so authentically yourselves. And it's so refreshing, especially study clubs can get so vulnerable, vulnerable for people. And it's just so nice to like, feel like, there's this space where I could bring up anything and feel like they have my back. They're going to guide me through it or help me be like, oh, this is maybe look at it this way or journal about this and that kind of stuff. Okay. So yeah, the community is probably my, one of my favorite things about it. Yeah. I'm with you. And that was, yeah. that was very intentional because you, you kind of nailed it. Like when you're outside of study club for that hour, every single morning, it's like we unleash ourselves to the world and we go to like talk about things that we're experiencing and everybody else, what is happening? Right. But yeah, that's why we're the 2% club. I, my goal truly is one day we don't call ourselves the 2% club. We call ourselves the 5% club. We call ourselves the 10% club, right? So that, uh, I mean, it'll be, it'll be nice to uh, unleash ourselves amongst um, people like get the heck what we're saying. That'd be great. Love yeah. it. So tell me about, tell me about your life now. Um, we're in big transitions for our, our entire family. We're building a house. Um, I'm two months away from leaving my corporate job and like, but once you make the decision, things just kind of fall into place and it's just having the belief that I've got it figured out. I don't know how, but yeah, it's just been a fun, like a fun, crazy ride that I'm enjoying. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And that's the thing. You don't need to know the how you just need to know what you want and why you want it. And once you know exactly. the what and the why, the how literally starts taking care of itself. Well, and for us, like our kids um, have kind of pushed us in a good way to that because we're switching them schools. They're going to a private school. And part of that was, I'm like, well, I can't work my corporate job and get them there because it's shorter hours. And so yep. we're like, well, it's just happening. It's so, just happening. I love yeah. it. I love it. And so if anyone is like watching this and going, okay, listen, like I already read all the books. I already do all the things. And they're really hesitant just to get started in their own 
like deep dive work, like what we're doing, what do you say to them? Oh, so many things, but it's just like, I think it goes back to the community because you can read all the books. Cause I read a bunch of them before I started and I got it, but didn't like get it or work on it. Or it's like, you read the book, but did you really read it? Right. And I love part of like what we do is right. We might only read two or three paragraphs in study club, but then yep. we have like a 10 minute conversation about that. And right. Yep. You just dive deeper into, and you uncover so much of yourself. Like there's so much more, I think that people need to uncover of themselves, right? It's the uncovering, the remembering, right? Just, yeah. Like I wrote down, I'm like, I did some journaling, like before we started about like one thought away and how it worked for me. And it's like the three things it gave me were clarity, community, and confidence. And I'm like, everyone can use that, right? So, yeah. Yeah. When you say clarity, and w- describe that. Um, more of my vision, my purpose. Um, I know I was meant to serve here in some capacity. I just know what that is now. Yep. So. And tell yeah. me about, we know about the community. Tell me about the confidence. It's again, that belief in yourself. Just really knowing that like, I don't have to answer to anyone. And my life and my decisions are for me and it's to better me and my family. And that's That's all that's important, right? Like, yeah. That's amazing. Your soul is seeking expression. Oh yeah. Big time. Love it. Super proud of you. That's amazing. I love it. And, um, I mean, honestly, like Chelsea is such an amazing coach, like huge, huge shout out to Chelsea. And, um, I can't wait to see what you do in this work too. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right. Thank you, my friends. Yeah.